Plug the screen into the left side of the motherboard. It uses a USB port for power supply. This terminal is connected to the 5 volts power supply on the motherboard. Every board is wired a bit different, so we'll use the Pi V2 as our tutorial. Let's connect the module. We need follow the image to plug in the wires correctly. Insert the white wire under the yellow header. The black and red wires to 5 volts and GND terminals. Into the second and third pins. Now we'll jump over to the configuration file. Let's connect the power. The power input here supports 12 volts to 24 volts. Adding an external clipper screen can make it much easier to find the IP address. Next, please open the document website. You can find it in the host computer section of the product document. Under power loss resume function in clipper. The power loss resume function in Clipper refers to the ability to automatically restore the print state of Clipper after it has been powered off and then powered back on. This function can only be used with the fast system. Pi V2 requires a KPPM power loss module to use this function. This solution won't work for printers that experience the axis displays after a power failure. To use power resume printing, please ensure power off shutdown is disabled. Auto shutdown after saving progress is configured. No extra power is connected to the host device. Let's enter the IP address to access and configure the printer. Access fluid to configure power resume printing. We need to uncheck the option to show hidden files first. Let's disable the option to show hidden files. You should now be able to see the folder. Inside this folder, there is a file named System Config. Add a symbol in front of these configurations to comment them out. Compare with the image beside. Edit and set up the plur cfg config file. Copy the entire configuration file from this section. Replace the following in the configuration file, pins, to Gyochip 1 GPO 21. Now we'll select a model and start the print. Then we'll cut the power to it. Now, let's see if it shows a message about power loss recovery. Then click to resume printing.
This is the final print result after power resume printing. Here's a compare between the power resume print and a normal print. That power resume may skip part of the G-code to ensure safe recovery. It should only be used in case of unexpected power failure, not during normal printing. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.